What's up guys? Dennis the Menace here. We are back down here on the river today and we're going to do some fossil hunting. I'm checking out a new spot here that the lady told me about last week. I didn't get to check out whenever we had our dogs up here because they ruined the trip. But uh, we're definitely down here. We're going to check it out today. Uh, hoping to find some mags or something. There's a lot of horse teeth out here in the, in the area. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. Stay tuned. going off road today checking out a new spot somebody told me about here on the Peace River see a sketchy area I've never been back here so I hope they don't get too mad about me driving back here there was tracks everywhere so I assume it's allowed Off-road action. Yeah, I know my seatbelt. Oh, here we are. That's where we're going to be looking today. There goes a bird. It is beautiful. Can't wait. Already, already stopped and checked another place out. I'm probably going to go there later on today or maybe next time I come down here. But uh, this is going to be the spot today. Just got to figure out which side I'm going on. But stay tuned. See ya. That's a cool little spot I found just right off a little creek that runs off Peace River. It's a really cool looking area. I'll tell you, I've never even seen this, but. You got some more of a little creek back there. You can see where the water's coming out right here. Water's coming out right underneath this tree right here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'll fall over. Just right here underneath this tree. Hell, I might even finger through this stuff right here. I see the gravel. You can see the gravel in there. I might finger through this stuff and see if there's any teeth in here. So I was walking back to the truck before I crossed the river here and look what I found. <laughs> Sitting right here in the dirt. Somebody must have set their teeth down or something and forgot about them, but hey, I'll take them. Look at this tiger. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, I'm gonna grab these couple teeth up. Now let me tell you, that was interesting. It's always fun walking across the river for your first time. <clears throat> Not knowing how deep it is. <laughs> and carrying a shovel with sifter in my backpack with my snorkel and everything else in it. Let's check this place out. I've been told I have to walk down here some 50 yards or so to find some gravel. It's crazy to see like a rapid area like that in Florida, down here anyway. <clears throat> when we see that up in the mountains or something. It's a cool little area. Somebody had a fire set up over there. You probably camp right here. Be a pretty chill camping spot. You got like an island right across here. I walked across there too. <clears throat> or over there around the other side of it before I crossed the river. But there's another little creek with some little rapids or whatever that goes around this island right here. 
and then it meets back up on the other side of the rapids there. Pretty cool looking. I haven't seen any alligators yet. <laughs> but uh we're just gonna walk down here and the terrain's nice. I have my knife on too, just in case I see a gator. And he attacks me. I guess I'm not just gonna go attack him. <laughs> but, <clears throat> I'm just looking for the spot down here. I guess I'm just gonna have to put my stuff down and get on in the water and start digging around and see what I can find, see if I can find some gravel. I might walk down here some. I think they said 50 yards. This is about 20. Hey, quick sand. And you guys want to come out here with me? <laughs> Feel free. Sure is peaceful out here though, nobody's out here. Oh, looks like I might have some gravel here. I'm gonna check this out, I'm gonna start digging. Alright, get back with you. Peace. You know how hard it is to record by yourself with no cameraman? It ain't fun. That's for sure. Much gravel here. Sounds like it, but it's not too bad. It's a dugong bone. Bunch of shells. Oh, I did find one there. I'll chuck this. I don't need a dugong bone. Found a tooth. Another two. Let me show you what I found here. Found two teeth there. Boom. I'm going to keep looking. Alright, so I'm on this little creek here that goes around the island and the river. It's pretty crazy, but uh, I started to walk it and I had to come back and record it because uh, <laughs> it's pretty crazy what I'm walking through here. Ooh, shit. The water's moving.
feeling around. Feels like I'm just walking on limestone up here. You see there's a layer. I'm not bank digging. It looks like somebody's been bank digging though, that's for sure. There's gotta be some gravel or something over here somewhere. Off in this hole. We're gonna get to it and check it out. Alright, so I've been digging in this little creek that goes around this little island for a couple minutes here. I found some gravel, found a few teeth, nothing really too crazy. But I started digging in the middle of the creek just a little bit more. And you're not going to believe what I just dug up. It's modern, it's not like a fossil or anything, but dude, it was sitting right on top of the shovel when I pulled it up. Check this out, guys. Look at this. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's got some weird looking front teeth. I don't. But, uh, man. Maybe deer or something? I'm not sure. It sure looks crazy, though. But, man, that's wild. Like I said, it's not a fossil or anything. It's not like. But, man, that is cool. For sure. That's sitting right on top of the shovel when I dug it up. Uh, anyway, stay tuned. They're walking along the creek here, man. You never know how it's, how dangerous it's gonna be. You never know when you run into a wild croc. Watch out for those crocs. <laughs> well, that's it for this part of the river. We're gonna go check out another spot here that I know of where that hole where the, all those dugong bones were at. Check that and see how that works out, but man. I'm leaving this bridge off the Peace River now. I found some crazy stuff. A uh, lower jawbone of a hog. Another jawbone of a, uh, I assume a possum. I'm not really sure. But, uh, all right. Might have to bust out the four wheel drive. <laughs> no, just kidding. But, uh, we're gonna go check out this other place here. Uh, it's right down the road. It's in the, the creek I've been digging in, so. Let me check it out, see what we find there. Hopefully I can get some stuff because uh, I only got about three more hours to dig. So I'll be back. See ya. Right down here, my little spot in the creek here. <laughs> this is uh, probably about my third shovel in here. Just saw one on top right here. Whenever I started digging. It's a cool little lemon shark too. There's some kids down there screaming. Seem to be on oh oh look at that oh nice dude oh man nice little hemi look at that guy sitting right on top well kinda I dug it out with my fingers but dude I gotta put a little more time in this place oh there's another baby one there's a tiny a tiny tooth and I know they're super tiny, but I keep them. I put them in my pocket anyway. Here's a little one, too. So little I can't pick it up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can't even really get the camera on it. <laughs> oh, there's another little one. They're all looking like tiny teeth here. Let me empty the shovel out of my screen here. <laughs> Maybe I can find something else in here. Oh, there's a piece of one. A half a tooth. 
Sure would be nice if I had somebody here to hold the camera. <laughs> it's hard to, to work and sift and film at the same time. Anyway, I'll be back. What's up, guys? Well, we're finally back home at the end of a long day of searching in the creeks and rivers for fossils. Uh, finally got rained out at the end of the day, man. It really started coming down out there, so I had to leave. <laughs> but uh, let me show you a few things that I found in the creek and the river today. Found a lot of teeth. Lemon shark, nice hemis. This one right here is pretty cool looking. This is the one that I found in the shovel there uh, that I showed in the screen that was sitting right on top. That's one of my favorite for the day. Nice tiger shark. Nice old black one. This hemi look crazy right here, huh? All black, I don't know if you can see it. Pretty cool looking. Old ragged, old ragged tooth. Found a nice lemon shark tooth, probably the biggest one that I've seen. I found yet. Found a bunch of tiny teeth, wasn't nothing too crazy. I said those top ones right there were the, were the biggest that I found. <coughs> found some ray plates. Found the biggest one I've ever found. That was huge, man. I mean, look at the size difference here. And I found some megs today. Busted, but hey, they're megs. So that was nice. That was actually my first megs that I found. I really wish those would have been whole. I found a shark, verte shark vertebrae. Piece of one, anyway. Looks like it's been rolling around there on the on the river for a while. Found a couple pieces of megs. This one especially right here. Man, the color on this, I wish you could see it. It's got a sheen to it, but man, if it would have been whole, oh my god. Found some kind of claw or something right here. I'm not sure what that thing is. But uh, that one was cool, I had to bring that home. That thing was killer. Found me another piece of a stingray barb that's the only one of the day normally I find bigger ones and more but that was it piece of an alligator tooth just a tip my first I found my first tortoise shell piece anyway that's pretty cool and I found a I found a couple dugong bones like always you know they're plentiful there in the river Got a couple more of them. And these are some of the crazier finds that I found today. First I was shoveling. And this thing was sitting on top of the shovel when I pulled it up. That was really crazy. I, I've been told that it was a hog. Just a lower jaw of a hog. It, but it has the teeth in it and everything. I mean man it was really crazy looking. Well, that was crazy. And then literally two minutes after I found this. I pulled this bad boy out of there. I don't know if this is a possum or a raccoon or something, but that was pretty cool looking too. But, yeah, I know I'm going to have to wash my hands now. But, anyway, that was the finds for the day. It was a pretty cool day. I was only able to dig for about six hours, and I was checking another couple spots that you know somebody told me about. And I actually ran into a, a landowner today that didn't really seem too happy I was there. But once I talked to him for a minute and told him, I said, look, man, I'm just fossil hunting. He was cool. And actually, he gave me his phone number. And he said that, uh, he said he's, he, him and a couple other people own a piece of land. Uh, they have access to a private creek or whatever. And they, uh, he invited me out to come look for some fossils on his own property. So that was really cool. That worked out great for me. But, anyway... Uh, that's it. I'm tired and I got a shower. So, uh, until next time, man, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Uh, tell me what your favorite find was today. Like I said, mine was probably one of those jaw bones or something, or maybe the megs. That was my first megs I ever found. So, it was a really exciting day. But, like, share, subscribe, and we'll be back. I'm going to try to do these once a week, I hope. So, uh, until then, thank you.
Peace.